Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum. In today's video, we are going to learn about bank reconciliation errors. The errors which we are facing while making bank reconciliation and I will show you that how you can adjust these errors and you can rectify your cash book according to the bank statement by passing the journal entries. So we will see each and every journal entry according to the error. So let's start with the first error. What is the error we are finding on the bank statement which is direct bank deposit. This direct bank deposit will be from our debtors or from our clients. So when they are directly depositing to our banks, we don't know that they have deposited to our bank account until they notify us. So when it comes to our notification, so then we are making a journal entry to adjust this entry in our cash book. So we are making bank account debit and the debtor account credit because they are paying us so they are credit so the money goes to the bank so the bank is debit. The next error which is direct bank payment. These are the instructions by us to the bank that this date and this time you have to pay to this supplier. So the bank automatically deduct and pay to that supplier. So sometimes we did not get notification of these payments. So when we are printing the bank statement and checking that this entry was passed by the bank, so we need to adjust this entry in our cash book. So how we will do that? We will debit the supplier account and we will credit the bank account because the bank is decreasing and we are paying to the supplier, so the supplier will be debit. So the next error check issued but not yet withdrawal or clear this entry is going to be reconciled in the bank reconciliation because there is no money involved in it so we are not going to pass any journal entry we are going to make a bank reconciliation statement to show the unadjusted balance of these checks the fourth error is check deposit but not yet shown in our account we received one check from our debtor and we have deposited that check to our bank account but the bank did not credit to our account yet so there is no any money involved yet so this entry is also going to the bank reconciliation statement to showing the unadjusted checks the next one is interest given by bank uh, interest given by bank these are on our fixed deposits with the bank or saving accounts or either any investment we have made in the bank they are paying us interest on those uh, investments so we need to pass this journal entry when we will know that the interest has been deposited to our account so we are making bank account debit and interest income account credit the next one is interest charged by bank Sometimes we are getting some services from the bank like letter of credit, bank guarantee. There are other many types of services we are getting and we are paying interest on those services to the bank. So bank automatically deduct those interest amounts from our bank account. So the, we are not getting any notification when we are getting the bank statement from the bank. We get to know that this entry was passed by bank but it is not shown in our cash book. To adjust this entry in our cash book, we will pass the entry interest expense account debit and the bank account credit. The next entry we are going to see is expense charged by bank. We are paying on a transaction. When we are going to transfer some money to someone, so bank is deducting bank charges. So we are not getting sometimes notification of these bank charges. So bank automatically deducts this money and we need to adjust that expense in our cash book also so a bank charges expense account will be debit and the bank account will be credit the next one is double payment by bank by mistake sometimes a payment can go two times to one supplier so when we are paying when the bank is paying to the supplier so supplier account debit so we are creating an entry bank account credit so it happens twice so one payment we pay to the supplier twice so we will what we will do we will debit again the bank account and 
we will credit the supplier account to adjust the balance. The next is interest or dividend collected by bank. Suppose we have invested somewhere other than the bank, we have invested in another company. So when some money comes from that investment, so bank, it is directly deposited to our bank account. So we are getting notification when we are printing the bank statement on a periodical basis. So that time we are making adjustment in our cash book also. So we are making bank account debit, interest or dividend income credit. Let's move to the last error which we can face. The wrong amount entry by a bank. Suppose we are going to pay to a supplier 1000 and wrongly the bank has paid 2000 to them. So the first entry to tally with the bank we need to make a supplier account debit with 2000 and bank account credit with 2000. So our cash book and bank book will be tally. So after that we need to make another entry to reverse. So bank account debit with 1000 and the supplier account credit with 1000. So the amount will goes only to the supplier 1000. So these are the possible errors which we can face while doing bank reconciliation. So I hope guys you understand what I have tried to explain. Please keep subscribe my channel so I will be keep motivated to create more videos for you. Thank you very much and goodbye.